Hi everyone, it's Cardinal Smith here and it's episode 2 of the Football Manager 2013 Let's Play. And <laughs> the game has just switched to the plug. So last time I didn't have a single job and I played around and we were hoping to get the Moyola Park job. Well, turns out Moyola Park, bunch of losers, didn't get that job at all. Uh, they, so, I did manage to apply and get a job in, at the time, 14th place, Ban Bridge. Oh yes, the big B Bridge. Very excited to start here. Same kind of team as Moyola Park, very small, um, but they were relegated from the you know Division One last season. So they, I was kind of hoping they would have a, a few good players. Let me show you the squad. Um, there's not much really to see here. I mean, the media prediction was second, and they were near just above the relegation zone. So the manager had to go. Luckily for me. <laughs> So, it's a much bigger squad than Manuel Park, which is great. Um, they were lacking in the midfield department a lot. So, I've had to strengthen the team a little with some free signings, um, so, which have all come in with no wedges. So, people are coming in here at the same professional club, but they're signing amateur contracts, which, which isn't great. But, uh, I mean, right now the team has a budget of... I think it's 70 pounds per week, you know, which, which is uh, very small, and I'm also spending 91 pounds a week, so was, I'm already over budget, I, I can't do anything, I don't want to do anything that about, about that right now. Um, stars of the team really are, I mean, well I say stars, but uh, the right back, uh, Curtis Woods, he's got some, for this level, Pretty good uh, heading, marking, tackling stats, and uh, determination, which is good to see. Uh, but really important is fitness stats here. Um, in terms of signing, in fact, my assistant manager is also a player, 33-year-old Ian McDowell. Um, you know, he, he's not got much in the way of technical stats, but he's still got some pace, some influence and work rate there. So a bit of a, a hard-working dog in the middle of midfield. In terms of fixtures, I've only had three with the team so far, and they've come pretty good. Um, I mean, to be fair, the, the manager had, what, three wins? Uh, in, in terms of the league, the previous manager had three wins out of five games, only two losses, but, you know, he was knocked out of all three cups in quick succession in the first rounds they were entered. So, you know, the board's expectations here are pretty high. Uh, in terms of my start, we've got an amazing 4-0 win at the start against a pretty weak Wecker side. 2-0 away from Queens. Again, a pretty weak side. And uh, against a stronger Lurgan Celtic, we snatched a 1-1 draw. Next game's against Annie United. And I'm going to live, well, stream this game. Uh, so we're going to watch that, that Annie United game. Uh, quick view of signings let's see uh, history so there's a lot of lot of business going on um, none of all of this is not by me so if you can see here the date I just came in on New Year's Eve and just signed these three players first up really needed a striker badly step in Sean Southam released by Glenn Torn this guy's got 12 pace 12 finishing heading you know, good composure, really high hopes of that guy, like no strength, no strength at all, but he's come in, he's played one game, scored two goals, I can't ask for a better debut than that, so he'll be starting the next game without a shadow of a doubt. Paul Burnside, I just needed cover in midfield, I don't expect him to be a starter, he's a good termination and Decent passing and first touch for this level, but he, it's, he's back up, which is why I really needed. And uh, Ben Murdoch, uh, just a young uh, defender, awful stats, doesn't know how to play football, but he can tackle and he can run pretty fast. That which is, <laughs> you know, that's going to come in pretty handy when uh, the injury struck up. 
To be fair, the, the score is pretty healthy right now. There's a lot of match fitness needs to be worked on, but we're pretty much ready to head into... Let's start this game. So we're playing Annie United, who are currently 8th. They're so two places ahead of me. Let's have a look at the league. Yeah, so they're just one point ahead. Um, if I can win this game, I mean, there's potential to shoot up to 5th place. Unlikely, and I think this is going to be a tough game. But we'll see how it goes. Let's go. In terms of tactics... You can see here I'm playing a, a fairly simple 4-4-2, but with uh, some advanced wingers. Uh, my right my right midfielder, Kingsbury, um, I'm told is one of the best players at the club. Just fairly fairly good stats, um, but a bit of pace, which is nice, so he's on the wing. Um, and Moffat, my other, my left winger, you know, same kind of, you know, pretty per stats, but, but pace again, which is all I really want out there in the wing. Weak spots, defense, uh, pretty frail at the back. So let's just uh, let's get to the first game. Come on, Burn Bridge, Burn Bridge. Wow, weird tactic from Anna United here. I like a cross. Um, hopefully, <laughs> hopefully the teams prepared for that. Okay. I, I, I mean, hopefully my wingers just start coming at this team, but otherwise they'll, they'll dominate the team, so I'll need to play out wide. So hopefully you can, you can see this alright, If uh, leave me feedback if I need to change anything, but we're kicking off, we're in possession here. I'm only playing key highlights, if it's, uh, if it's a pretty boring game and there's not enough action, I'll, I'll make that extended. Oh, not much happening. Near 25 minutes ago. Okay, throw in from Calder. I can kneel. Cross it in, son. Southam's there. That looked offside. Ah, so it is. Not given. Good finish, but uh, <laughs> offside. That would mean a great start. 27 minutes in. Not much is happening. I'm wondering, should I maybe switch up the tactics here? We're playing at home. Come on, guys. Playing a control right now. Let's switch to attacking. I think it's about to hit half time in a way. Yeah, okay. So, half time. So, we're going to come out the pitch attacking early on the second half. Is really what I want because this is an under par performance so far. Nil nil. I mean, I'm. I'm I don't expect to be promoted this season. As you know, it's already more than halfway through the season. Um, we're in the bottom half of the table. That's not an aim, but we've got to consolidate and make sure we're not going to be relegated. So Alan Neal up here, six point one, he's not doing the business. Let's change him up for uh, Connor Downey, who is a left-sided winger, but he's a bit of pace. So let's see if we can put up up front. See if that makes a difference. Uh, David Hamptons, I don't want to bring him off, but he's not protect not looking particularly fit right now. Let's give uh, my backup midfielder a debut. Okay, a couple of changes there at halftime. Just trying to get the get rid of the per condition and the underperformer. And let's go! Come on, guys! Come on! Second half. All right. Kick off, and Anna United in possession, weaving it through the game. Just a okay, quick highlight. Right, come on, lads! These are attacking. Let's go. 60 minutes already. Not much happening. we got to switch this to... Oh, no. Hang on. Goal kick from the keeper. Out to the wing. Like I said, we need to be playing the wings against the, this team. Crossed in. Sure, that's a corner. He's over the line. Okay, well. Don't, don't know what's going on there. Woods. Uh, and in possession. I was worried this would be slips a good ball through. Ferguson gets a tackle in there, but it's not enough. Follow up. Off the post. Clear for a corner. Ooh, let's go back to control. I feel uncomfortable. Corners there. Burnside plays a huge ball forward that leads to nothing. Let me... What can I do here to change this up? Back to control. 
you know what, you know what? I'm going to change the settings to extended highlights. It is not just to give more action. This is a pretty dull game, but they play a ball through. He had no right to score from there. Devlin scores from a ridiculous angle, and the boot, it looked offside as well. Disallowed goal, thank God. Alright, fitness is becoming an issue now. Sean Southam, after his debut scoring two goals, is not looking... Everyone's playing pretty poor. Uh, but Ben Murdoch's on 69% condition. I've got to take him off. I mean, I really want to get put some pace up there at the front of the game, but I mean, I, I, I don't want to, but I'm holding out for the nil-nil, maybe. So, oh, Southam's through. The keeper's pretty eccentrically comes out to get it. Looks like a long kick up field, not at all. Any United in possession, looking dangerous. They get five players up in this attack. Six cross come in. Park get there, defend, hits it wide. Thank goodness. Phew. All right, come on, we need our sub on. I mean, it looks like we're just edging possession. I mean, that's because I'm playing us to try and control and strangle the game. But uh, we no not much end product. The strikers aren't, you know, getting fed a lot, and when they are, it's not working out. But Kingsbury's taking a run here, intercepted by Anna Malin on the right wing here, maybe right back. Ferguson clears to Woods, played out to Kingsbury, the star player on the wing, fails to get past his man again, which is worrying. Curtis is there to pick it up, plays through the south and shoots from long range, well wide. Oh dear, oh dear. But here we're still in a highlight. Big long kick. Come on, defenders, get there, head that away. Moffat on the downy. Threads it. <laughs> Must have been a fluke to South him. Woods at right back. He is playing well. Through to Kingsbury. He puts it in the net. Ten minutes to go. Kingsbury, the star man, must have won it. Let's 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 tell the players here. Uh, take a breather. I mean, let's close this game out. Happy, I mean, 1-0 will be an excellent result. Fitness is looking pretty low right now, though, so hopefully Anna are pretty pretty exhausted as well. Okay, eight minutes to go. Seven, five minutes. Into the 89th minute, three minutes of injury time. Oh, and it's a, it's, it's a, Anna on the ball, long-range shot. Got possession back. Okay, Colter, take it easy. Okay, a long ball is not easy. <laughs> ah, the keeper first time hits it away there. Um, and Park t steals possession through the downy. Can he find the striker? He's going to cross it in, hopefully. Doesn't get it past the first man. Does it again, doesn't quite get there. Downy clean that up. Oh, thank goodness. Feeling a little tense here. All right, 30, 10 seconds left in the game. And they're coming at us. Crossed into the box. There it is, all over. Oh, Banbridge win in a pretty poor game, but three very important points. I said that could take us into the top half of the uh, top half of the league. So let's see. Ah, oh, jeez, I am so pleased. Kings, Kingsbury scored there. I thought I didn't think that the first life, the first stream of this uh, King Let's Play was going to end the defeat, I thought. But look at that. Up from up from 10th, I think we are, up to 6th. And, uh, you know, 19 games played out to 30. It is, you know, 11 Cup Finals coming up. 28 points. And, you know, 3rd is in 29 points. I mean, it, it's a pretty tight league. There's 3 points between 3rd and 10th. Uh, I mean, there is a gap. I mean, PSNI, the police force, and not Breda are running away at the top. You know, five points clear from third, and those are the only two positions: the the one automatic promotion spot and the playoff spot. So, let's. T I am not sure if we're going to be able to catch them at this stage unless we go with an unbelievable run. But that is a good win, and. In terms of the game, we're in January now. I'm not going to be making any more signings. 
I'm, I'm happy with the depth here. I'm especially happy that I don't have to pay for any of it. Nobody, you know, there's only three players on wedges. Um, and one of those is my assistant manager, so like, I'm not going to get hit, rid of him anytime soon. Um, my tactics need a lot of training, so I'm focusing on those right now. If I just show you here, in the tactics screen, yeah, we're only competent, you know, we're only fluid in our wins. I think that showed in the last game, um, they were playing a very narrow formation, and uh, Moffat and Kingsbury were able to exploit them. But, you know, the rest of the tactics flies, we have a lot of work to do. And, um, you know, we don't have a lot of the season to go, but hopefully we'll good standards put ourselves in good stead for next season. Southam, I'm expecting uh, a lot more from. That was a pretty disappointing result for your performance last time. Uh, but, otherwise, Nick, let's have a look at the fixtures coming up. Um, I'm going to be playing a, uh, a fixture for each video from now on. Um, but I will skip a few. So, in, in a month's time is a, another home game against Bally Clare, which would be pretty difficult. Um, so, where are they in the league? I mean, I, I know they're, yeah, so they weren't, they're not long out of uh, the first division either. Um, so, our, our side should be pretty similar. So, I'm good. So next time in the game, uh, when a next video we're gonna be yeah. Chimney Corner and Balamoney United. Uh, I'll play those games offline, and then um, we'll come back for Bally Clare. So that's it, video two. Give us a like or leave a comment. Some really appreciate any feedback. Um, it's peace.